Hey Gemini, this is Soul. And Gemini, this is going to be your March 2018 general love and relationship uh, reading messages. Uh, the messages will also be for Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising. All right, my fellow twins, I hope all is well. For some of you, I'm about to read for, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty good month when it comes to uh, love and relationships. Uh, keep the focus on love and relationships. I'm not incorporating any other areas or aspects of your life. So what we're about to get into, being that I'm a Gemini moon, relationships. Okay, let me just start off here. I have the, uh, as your overall energy, just to start the reading, uh, with the three of pentacles. Okay, this could be simply meaning that there's an end to uh, maybe some sort of um, love triangle since the three represents that energy or the ending of a third party involving a relationship uh, whether or not it's a taurus capricorn virgo male or female it doesn't really matter but it represents the overall month for you uh it could be for some of you even though i'm picking up that for the others that i'm reading for it's still going to turn out to be a very favorable month but it might be some sort of discord see this is a card of not getting along uh, with someone a partner uh, this is uh, out of sync or out of collaboration with another person. In the upright, it's all about being in sync and collaborating and working well with others. All right. But because I'm focusing on love and relationship, it shows up in the reverse. So it just, you know, might be for those single Geminis who may be currently involved uh, in a relationship. And it might be some sort of, uh, you know, could be minor discord. If you are in a relationship or dating a true earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. And what presents itself that's crossing the three of pentacles um, is the six of wands in the reverse. So it could be a fire sign. But even with the six of wands being in the reverse, in the upright, in contrast, is victory and success. When it's in the reverse and how I read it is it's still victory and success, but it's going to be minimized. So the pentacles representing you know, work in finances, but I'm trying to keep finances out of here. But the work aspect might be a work in progress. OK, things that you may need to work on in terms of an existing relationship or someone that you're dating. Uh, and there's going to be some sort of minimum victory and success if you work very hard to achieve that. Or if it's not your energy, it could be them working very hard to uh, work things or sort things out, you know, with you over top or underneath. I should say that six of um wands is the two of wands and again it might be a fire sign see because the two of wands represents um aries leo sagittarius male or female for me all right and the females facing in the backward direction so it could be something that's going on with past issues uh past situations uh this is a card when it, you know i'm reading for love and relationships about the lack of progress uh involving a relationship and stagnation in a relationship okay but it is um, representing the fire energy so it's more or less their energy so again two fire signs or two uh, fire sign cards you know together and then it's crossing the pentacles the earth collaborating or being out of sync with someone there's work in progress but I do feel that whatever is it is that's going on uh, with an existing relationship it's going to be worked out and keep in mind that I am doing uh, this reading for singles and couples, okay? Because I don't do single uh, videos for single um, zodiac signs and energy because it's too much for me. The key indicators here for those Geminis, and it might be still incorporated for anyone who's having any uh, need to have some sort of work to do in an existing relationship and then move that progress along with the two of wands. You have the King of Cups to support you, okay? King is an actual court card or an actual person because it is a court card, but this is a card full of love. It represents love and romance. And what am I talking about? Love and romance for the month of March. So this could be uh, someone coming in. The King could represent females' uh, energies as well. But someone who likes to be surrounded by uh, like-minded individuals this could be your energy and you're full of love this could be someone if you're single that you meet and a person turns out to be older than you whether or not it's a, a cancer scorpio or pisces male or female it doesn't really matter any upright position is all about 
uh, not only the love for self, but it's the love for others. Potential love to come your way. Potential love to share with an existing relationship, if that is the case. Underneath, and I'm just going to skip around here, is the world card, which is the opportunities. Okay, expect it. Or unexpected opportunities when it comes to uh, new relationships and then those relationships that are current. All right. The think of the world card as continuously spinning and changes are always taking place. All right. So if there's a situation where and it follows the two of wands. So if there's stagnation or things not moving fast enough or, you know, uh, forward enough for you, Gemini, in a current relationship, then maybe. As the month progress, those things or at least the energy changes around for you. I do feel that there's an opportunity uh, and I like this world card because it mirrors the will of fortune, which I'm going to get to. But I want to get to uh, the card that's following the king of cups here, which is the two of uh, swords. So one's at a crossroad and having to uh, decide upon <laughs> two people when it comes to relationship swords representing your energy. Gemini and that energy of Libra and Aquarius, whether or not it's directly related to another air sign, it doesn't really matter. This is a card of just minor anxiety and having to pick and choose, but you're indecisive at this time. It may be related to those single Geminis and, you know, you because the cups come in here, there might be multiple people. See, there's multiple people here in this card and then you meet. They could be older and also there are younger people in this card so you could meet uh several people this month if you're single related to a connection with uh, new romantic partnerships and then you're at a flux or you're at a crux here because you're indecisive about who to pick and choose this is the number two so it's two people it could be related to that as well but you'll have the strength to make a choice in the decision because the, uh, the strength card shows up also, too, I'm getting a fire energy. Strength card represents Leo. All right. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this is a month to be empowered. And just know that, you know, whatever you choose to do. That you have the strength on your side to help you. OK, feeling empowered and just feeling this is also a card of a great passion and uh, not only great passion, great strength, great sex. So it's a whole bunch of stuff that's uh, incorporated when this card, strength card shows up in the upright. So whatever it means for you, Gemini, the strength is on your side for this month. All right. So the will of fortune, someone gets lucky in love. Someone gets fortunate in love. Someone may have some sort of lucky break in love or turn around an existing uh, stalemate of a relationship. Remember, see, the two of wands is facing the will of fortune. So maybe the uh, fire sign becomes fortunate because there's something going on with Gemini's energy. It could be vice versa. doesn't matter. Will of fortune is the major arcana. And for a love reading, that's someone either gets fortunate or there's a lucky break coming in in terms of relationship. Already spoke about the world card. Something's about to change and it's going to be for the better or the positive uh, aspects. Underneath the um, King of Cups, that's love. It could be an existing relationship. Then there's the start of something new or something fast coming in with the Ace of Wands. This is also a news carrier kind of uh, card in its energy. Maybe the Ace of Wands is a fire sign that comes in. Could be the start of a relationship that starts suddenly, very quickly. Fresh starts, new beginnings. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Maybe the Ace of Wands underneath the Two of Swords is the uh, indecisiveness and the anxiety, the mild anxiety that uh, could be picking up that, you know, what I'm picking up that there's a choice to be made. Maybe someone wants to get involved with a, a you know, Gemini real quickly and you're not really sure uh, that's the best thing for you to do, but you will have the strength to make a decision. And um, I just see that the if that is the case, the positive, the outcome will be positive. All right. But someone wants to start a relationship with a Gemini real quick and it could be a fire sign. All right. Now, the last card here, this is your energy. So it's the backstabbing. Um card ten of swords so somebody could be going through some backstabbing situations in terms of partnerships but if it doesn't apply to you it also could just mean gemini get out of your head okay you're thinking too damn much and this is what's causing conflict 
uh, not to stress too much, not to worry too much. Uh, like, you know, the fives and tens, when they show up, it's just energy to potentially come, but it's not going to stick around. But something's causing some sort of conflict in energy here that could possibly cause some sort of conflict when it's a reading of, you know, for relationships or loving relationships is usually uh, coming in as um, someone not to be trusted, someone that you place too much trust in and then they come around and stab you in the back. All right. So it may not be a physical stab in the back, but it's a bet it's not more or less like a betrayal because the nine of nine of swords energy gives me that betrayal. But this is more or less this is more painful. <laughs> This is more painful, but I do feel that uh, and not trying to clean your reading up, Gemini, it's you overthinking. Sometimes the center source comes in uh, and I'm not talking about surgical procedures uh, because this is a love reading. This could be just you overthinking too much. You're, you can't turn it off and you're just being conflicted. You know, it's like those thoughts come in and you can't compartmentalize them. So I'm just getting overthinking a lot, uh, whether it's related to. Uh, an existing relationship or a um, potential relationship to come. But uh, for the most part, the overall energy that I'm picking up for you in the month of uh, March looks pretty good. It looks really, really good. And I just feel that I'm just specifically speaking to one or two Geminis who may be uh, dealing with some sort of workplace situation or could be an ending of an attraction. Someone that was attracted to you. You were attracted to them and they were you were attached. They were attached. And in the reverse, that means it's coming to an end. It's like the infatuation phase is coming to an end. All right. Um, but there's work in progress, work that needs to be done with an existing relationship, whether or not it's with a fire sign. OK, or it could be with any zodiac sign or an earth sign. That's what I'm getting. Anyway, that's your reading, Gemini. I hope it's helpful. And the uh, Vera Sibilla that I have uh, selected to uh, collaborate or uh, be a standalone reading for those messages uh, for those Geminis who need to hear the message. And it's, you know, none of this stuff is applying to you or resonates with you. We have the. <laughs> A more card. This is the love card. Wow. Well, let me just tell you with the love card uh, that I have selected for you. And by the way, it's the four of hearts and the uh, cardamancy four of hearts. So the love card, a more card, a more card. It's the very, excuse me, it's a very positive card, including love, affection, infatuation, love at first sight and passion. The symbolism of this card is self-evident. Love is blind. And when it, it excuse me, and when it strikes, it is able to break down the protective walls that were built around the heart. Okay? Also this is a coming in um that could be in collaboration with someone gets lucky in love. Someone gets lucky in love and it's unexpected. Someone gets lucky in love and <laughs> unexpected and it happens very quickly with the ace of wands. OK. And then the king of cups, love. Gemini, that's what I have for you. OK, until I talk to you again, which will be shortly because I have to do the uh, uh, biweekly that who came up. Tommy real quick all right so want to wish you all a very uh month great month full of love and light and also always safety oh my god safety please be safe wherever you are until i talk to you again gemini please be well bye